I'd like to urge you, encourage you, exhort you to live your life choosing the word nevertheless. <laughs> it just dawned on me today that um, Jesus said, if this, let this cup pass from me, nevertheless, not my will but yours be done. Nevertheless, you know, never, in other words, rather than doing this, rather than what I want, I want your will to be done. And if we can live uh, by that example, that little tiny word, wherein hangs salvation, by the way, nevertheless, then that, that would be a really good thing. And I'll explain that in a second, but it, it, it just dawned on me that um, I've heard this before years and years ago, I never forgot this, that salvation in one sense hung out on that one word. When Jesus said, let this cup pass from me, you know, this bitter cup that, of suffering that he's going to have to take. There's a human part of Jesus that he said, don't let the, I'd, I'd rather not do this flesh wise. I don't want to do it. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. Uh, that if he wouldn't have said nevertheless, and he could have just said, you know what? I don't want to drink this suffering after all. Jesus, God would have honored that. And he would have said, okay, come on up. And he would have taken him and he wouldn't have gone through the cross. He wouldn't have gone through all that he went through, all that terrible, terrible torment and torture. And uh, he wouldn't have been put in a grave in a cave, in the darkness of a cave. He wouldn't have gone to hell because the Bible says he went, uh, his spirit went into the, uh, into the place. This is First Peter chapter 3 at the end. Anyway, all that. He wouldn't have descended into the lower parts of the earth, as it says in Ephesians uh, chapter 4. I mean, the whole thing would have just been nil, nothing, nullified. Nope. Not going to do it. And remember Jesus the night before, in that same night, he said to Peter, put up your sword. And he said, don't you know that I could call 12 legions, you know, thousands of angels and my father would have come down and stopped this whole thing. So we, the salvation hung in the balance, basically, in a sense, on that one word. But back to the topic about you and me, um, when your flesh is crying out, feed me, like for some sin, could be greed or could be um, desires of some sort. It could be um, pity, self-pity. It could be uh, you're, you, you just want to, you know, whatever it is, um, some sinful passion or some pride, any, any sort of sin. It's less of the flesh, less of the eyes, pride of life. How about that? Those three in First John 2. Um, nevertheless, you know, say, nope, I'm going to live by nevertheless. I'm not going to feed my sin you know, I want this, but nevertheless, I'm going to do <laughs> something else. I think we need to live on that and meditate on that and think about, nope, 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 nevertheless, your will, not mine, not what I want. You want to get really angry at someone because they deserve to be angry at, and you decide to be patient and kind and gentle with that person. Nevertheless, <laughs> you don't want to do uh, something that God's told you to do. Like, I, I don't want to do that. Go out and share your, the gospel with this group or whatever. I don't want to do that or whatever. You know, nevertheless, <laughs> you live by that nevertheless. Um, or God's calling you to move and you don't want to move. You like where you're staying. And God said, nope, I want you to live in Zimbabwe or, you know, Australia or go to China or something. No, I don't want to do it. Nevertheless, <laughs> It's good. So we ought to live in that uh, in that realm, if you will, or in that path, constantly of saying, "Not my will, not my will, not my will." The flesh is crying out, and your spirit uh, is there too. But you you go, "I'm not gonna. I'm not. I want to feed this flesh. I'd like to do something to, to gratify something in my life and my emotional, physical, mental realm, or whatever." Nevertheless, <laughs> so let's never live outside of nevertheless by fulfilling his will and not ours so that's a kind of fun little thought that occurred to me that we should live by neverthelesses all our life all right that's an exhortation for you and me god bless you thanks for listening